Welcome to another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. I'm Kristen McCary, and I'm here with your host, Janine Corcoran, broker for Corcoran Connect, a real estate company. It's time for December events. I know. It came so fast. Thanksgiving's over. Christmas is around the corner. The holiday season. The lights are going up. They are. They are. You know, we have one of those Christmas countdowns on our on our mantle, by the way. I did my, I don't know if I've ever talked about it here, but like when we moved into this house, I lost a place to put the Christmas stockings, right? Like I didn't have anywhere to put them. And all mm. I wanted was this like built in fireplace wall with a mantle. And so I have it. And yeah, I'm it looks so, great. I'm so excited. It's like the best thing ever. We'll do some B-roll on that. Yes. <laughs> You'll have to see my fireplace. Don't do that. I haven't painted yet. But anyway, um, but we have a Christmas countdown. There's 28 day, 27 days left until Christmas. Oh, wow. I'm, I can't believe it. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Anyway, but we have a lot of events in December, right? We do. Uh, let's start off with, don't forget, Toys for Tots is still going on now. Uh, one of the drop-offs is our office at 1426 South Narcosi Road, second floor, um, and that will be going on through December 9th, and it is um, put on by the Marine Corps. That's awesome. Love Toys for Tots over Unwrap here. Toys. Unwrap uh, toys. Unwrap New. Toys. Unwrap New. toys. Yes. Not used. <laughs> it New. is not a uh, not a uh, donation of the things you want to get rid yeah, of. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> That's awesome. So then, of course, uh, to kick off um, the holiday season is the annual tree lighting ceremony. And this year, it's actually going to fall on December 1st um, from 6 to 9 p.m. And that's at City Hall. And oh, they'll, that's, cool. that's like when they first turn on the lights on the Christmas tree and stuff. It's a really cool event. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, the address is 1300 9th Street on, in St. Cloud, Florida. But, it, you know, of course, it's City Hall. So you go out there. You can't miss the big tree. Um, it's going to be a great event. So uh, definitely go out and check that out. They'll have musical performances, crafts, games, and rides, a snow slide, visits with Santa, and much more. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah. It sounds like fun. And then on December 2nd, it's the 60th annual Christmas parade that takes place in St. Cloud by the St. Cloud Chamber. Chamber of Commerce in the city of St. Cloud, and it's sponsored by Orlando Health and St. Cloud Hospital. Uh, this year's theme is Christmas movie time. So it's December 2nd at 10 a.m. Location downtown St. Cloud. Register um, yours or others at stcloudflchamber.com if you want to participate or call 407-892-3671. And they also look for a lot of um, volunteers. I don't know if oh, yeah, Brandon right. McNutt um, has filled out all of the volunteer positions yet, but it's a great way to earn some community service hours. Yeah. So if you have a high school student looking for those hours... Um, um, and they try to pair it. Like if you go with a group of friends, they'll try to pair you together. Oh, in, that's cool. In the that's thing. cool. So, but it's a, probably a little late now, but think about it for next year. <laughs> um, and then we have on December 2nd, after the parade, it sounds like, um, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the Holiday Festival. Um, it's a nonprofit event hosted by the Rotary Club of Kissimmee Bay. And there will be over 100 crafters, carnival type fair, entertainment, a classic car show, a kid's holiday fun zone with Santa. And the festival actually um, runs for two days. It's the first and second, and um, sorry, it's the first Saturday and Sunday in December. Mm. Um, so that should be a good time too. And that's in downtown St. Cloud. And then right after the parade on December 3rd from 12 to 4 and that is immediately in front of the city hall there is a classic car show that's also presented by the Rotary Club um, annual car shows oldies but goodies welcomes all vehicles from decades long past uh, 79 and before 19. and is this one that Lorraine participates yes, yes, in she so does. Lorraine from our office you've probably uh, met her yep. if you've worked with us before um, she's into classic cars oh absolutely and I love it she has a really good actually her business card photo is from in front that's right. Classic cars. That's awesome. All right. Um, and then we have our toddler open gym Christmas party. So this is December 7th from 1030 to 12, 1030 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the St. Cloud Civic Center. Um, join us for treats, games, fun, and story time with Santa for children ages 2 to 4. So it's a great event at the St. Cloud Civic Center. It's $3 per child, and you have to register online. Um, you can email Parks and Recreation at stcloudfl.gov. Hmm. Then on December 7th from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at Hopkins Park, which is on 17th Street, um, we have Thrive Thursday. From healthy cooking demos to the perfect exercise routine, attend, find the best path to a healthier and happier you. Sponsored and facilitated by Help Against Hunger's East Osceola. Um, these free classes are held on the first Thursday of every month. And so pre-registration is encouraged. 
That's awesome. And I feel like that one's going to be really busy in January. <laughs> <laughs> so next up on December 9th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., we have Amazing Animals Christmas in the Cloud. Um, come celebrate Christmas with the critters at the fourth annual Christmas in the Cloud hosted at Amazing Animals, Inc. Wildlife Preserve. Meet Santa and Mrs. Claus. There's going to be a petting zoo, an animal meet and greet, food trucks, community vendors, um, and over 25 holiday animal inflatables so that wow. sounds really cool it's ten dollars per person at the door it's free for ages two and under um two dollars off for teachers active and retired military police officers firefighters and emts um and you do have to have a valid id for that um, but it sounds like a great time i haven't been to that one no i haven't either and then on december 8th 9th, 10th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. So that's uh, Friday, I'm assuming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, light up the park. Come out and enjoy a, the season at Peghorn Park is a brilliantly lit up with lights and cheer. The entry includes hot chocolate cookies, crafts, movies, games, popcorn, music, and a bounce house. There will also be food trucks and other vendors. The deadline for online registration is at 5 p.m. on the day of the event. If not, pre-purchased tickets will be available to purchase at the gate. And so that's $10 per person. Children two and under are free. And that's exactly where they do the Halloween. I was just thinking horror that. Trail. So you, you've been to the Peghorn, the horror trail that they do for Halloween. And so it's, I think it's a walkthrough experience oh, there fun. too. Um, I think we talked about going last year and then we didn't. Oh, okay. okay. So we should go this year. We definitely go this year. <laughs> and then um, for our Harmony folks, we have our Harmony fourth annual um, golf cart Christmas parade. So this is always a fun one. We're going to meet at the entrance of Cat Lake, um, which is down by the lakes and it's December 9th and it starts at dusk. Um, and usually they'll post the route, you know, coming there, but it's always so much fun to see all the golf carts all decorated for the holidays and stuff like that. The Halloween one was a lot of fun. It makes me so nervous when they say at dusk, why can't they just say the time? Well, I, I don't know. It's a dusk. When is dusk? Dusk by that point should be 530 ish. Oh, okay. Maybe. So we're going to be in the parade (laughs) and we have a Santa. Yes, a Santa that's throwing out big candy canes. And then we also have a little elf helping us. We have Mrs. Claus, and then there's also a driver who's helping us. I don't know oh, if you know about that. I did not know about that. <laughs> I, who, who I asked to dress up, and she said no, yeah. but she will drive. And then we met with friends last night, and they said, wouldn't it be cool if we could put our golf cart in front of yours and put like reindeer, three reindeer on it? And I said, you have time. There's two weeks. Yeah, that would <laughs> and be- then have Santa sit on top of the golf cart with reins. Yes. I don't know if we'll be that creative, but there's definitely got to be Santa. That was so, that's so much fun. That sounds like a great idea. You should do it. I know. Definitely do it. That sounds good. So anyway, that's always a great time. So even if you don't live in Harmony, come on out and oh, check yeah. it out. It's a fun, fun thing to watch. Um, and you could honestly sit right at the square and yeah. watch everybody go by. So it's, it's yeah. a good time. I wish I would drive slower. I know. I feel like I drive so fast. They do. But. I'm afraid the decorations are going to go flying off. Didn't somebody lose the coffin? Yes, we had someone in a coffin and his wheels broke. (laughs) (laughs) That's so much fun. That was was fantastic. They were fantastic. It's such a great, great time. All right. So then on December 13th at 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. in downtown St. Cloud, we have the St. Cloud Monthly Market. Um, To appreciate, you know, all the stores, everything will be open. Uh, Lots of nice booths there. So come on, come on down and see that. That's awesome. And then back to Harmony again. I feel like I got all the Harmony ones today, so that's cool. Um, So back to Harmony. We're uh, doing Christmas caroling. This is um, the fourth year, I believe, that Mm -hmm. they've done the Christmas caroling. It's actually one of the residents put this on, Caitlin Husbands. Um, And so we're going to start at 6 p.m. at Buck Lake. You can come enjoy some hot cocoa, get to know your neighbors, pick up your, you know, song packets, and then we'll head on out into the streets to Carol. Um, so it's a fun time. And if you live anywhere near that section of Harmony, I'm sure you'll be visited by carolers. So come on out and be nice and have fun. And <laughs> it's always a good time. The kids love it. I've done it a couple of times. It's good. How did I get the next event? <laughs> <laughs> okay, excuse me. For all of you who speak Espanol, it's not my first language. So Prendiendo la Navidad, lighting up Christmas, an event full of live music, exciting raffles, and a unique art- artesian fair. The date is December 17th from 12 to 6 p.m. at Lakefront Park, um, Lakeshore Boulevard in St. Cloud. Um, for more information, call 407 361 4848. Yep, that's right. <laughs> or go online at what ER is, Events. Oh, ER Events, FL.com. 
My, my, my contacts were going in now. That's okay. I was trying to make a word out of that first part, too. So <laughs> I didn't. Um, I didn't and, do bad. No, that was really good, actually. So before this, we Googled, how do you pronounce? And, and I felt like that episode of Friends where it's like, je, je, ma, ma, tell. <laughs> And I was like, wee boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, if you're not a Friends fan, boo on you. Um, so there's uh, coming up on uh, December 18th through 22nd. And then December 27th through 29th is the winter day camp. So if you have kids that are out of school mm-hmm. and you have to work, um, go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and get signed up for that. They're open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for ages 5 to 12 at the St. Cloud Civic Center. It's $110 Um per non-resident child um, per week or $100 per resident child. So if you're a resident of the actual city, you have a $10 discount um, or it's $35 per resident child per day or $45 per non-resident child per day. Anyway, all this information is online on their website. Um, You do have to register online um, and that's going to be at stcloudfl.gov. I wonder how many uh, kids go to this. Like... I don't see. I don't know because when we were when I was kids, I had a lot of friends that went to those things. We didn't because well, you were home. People, well, yeah, but people work; they have right. to put their kids somewhere. Right. So. It's a it's a good thing. So you'll have two weeks worth of um, care covered if you want, and they always do so many fun things. It seems like a reasonable amount, right? A hundred dollars for the week or yeah. hundred ten dollars? Is that cheap? That's, I think that's cheap in today's dollars. I feel like it was a hundred dollars when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like so, so that's good. Wow. I wonder if they have a limit. Interesting. Uh, great for parents at work. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so on to an adult mat, uh, movie matinee, 18 years or older. The movie features being shown as Little Women. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Starring Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, and Sorosi. Oh, Sorosi Ronan. Rated PG. Joe, what is that? PG Joe March? No, Joe March, I think, is the character's name. <laughs> We're oh gonna boy. leave that in. <laughs> There's a story behind my madness today. I just can't mention what it is. Jo March reflects back and forth on her life, telling the beloved story of the March sisters, four young women, each determined to live on her own terms. That's December 20th from 1230 to 245 at the St. Cloud Community Center. It's a free event. I wish, um, why is it for 18 and older? I don't know. It's a PG a PG movie, you would think it yeah, would be. Yeah, it's PG. It does. Okay, interesting. Okay. Anyway. Well, then moving right along to, I think, what is our last event um, is the New Year's Eve Rocking the Cloud. Um, It's live on the main stage. They're going to have Uncle Cracker. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, Opening acts are Claudia Sar and DJ Bry. Second stage will have Life Effect. Um, There's a midnight downtown cloud drops. That's always fun. But basically, it's a party downtown St. Cloud from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. on New Year's Eve. And it's a way to ring in the New Year. Have you ever gone to that? I have not, but I've seen... People who've posted from, I always just like, I don't know. I don't like being out when people people have been drinking no, a lot. I get it. I but, get it. but it does sound like a really fun event, you know, mm-hmm. and I've never heard anything bad happening down yeah. there. So um, definitely sounds like something fun to check out. And it's local because you've gone like to Melbourne and stuff like that for mm-hmm. previous years, right? Yeah, but usually we stay at the hotel when we do that. We right. don't drive. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, anyway, but that's a lot of fun. A lot of fun things going on in December. That's for sure. I can't believe it is December, basically. Like, when did that happen? Um, Hey, kids, this is your friendly reminder that if you have um, grades, low grades and missing assignments, you have very few weeks left to get those in. And when I say kids, I'm talking to my kids. Um, So if you could work on your grades before your Christmas break and report cards come out, that'd be great. (laughs) Sincerely, your parents. Um, Anyway, so that's it for uh, December events. Mm -hmm. I went fast. I know. We'll uh, see you in a couple of weeks for your um, updated market report. But thanks so much for joining us for another episode of Discover St. Cloud, Florida. You can find us on all of your favorite podcast platforms. You can also check us out online. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the above. Yep. Um, You can also send us an email. Give us a call. Um, You can send us an email at discoverstcloud at gmail.com. Or you can give us a call at 1-844-ST-CLOUD. That's S-T-C-L-O-U-D. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode.